Today, we're going to be talking about D-lactate intolerance. This is a really important concept that you, can un that you need to understand if you want to be able to heal chronic fatigue syndrome. Understanding and sort of healing this aspect of intolerance that was happening inside my body was one of the biggest factors that helped me with recovering from chronic fatigue syndrome from two aspects. First of all, from sort of like just the pain that I would experience from just basic movements, you know, if you have CFS, if you have chronic fatigue syndrome, I don't need to tell you what it's like, I'm sure you already know. But for me, this was like even the three or four minutes standing over the sink trying to wash my dishes and having my calves cramping up and turning into like lead rocks. And then the pain that I would then experience afterwards and the pain in the neck and the shoulders and the just feeling achy all over, it really helped with that. But it also helped with actually getting my energy production back online so that I could actually have energy and function as a human again, which is kind of the end goal, right? So it's really important that you understand this principle. So let's get straight into it. So what is D-lactate? You've probably heard of lactic acid before or lactate. So we don't actually have lactic acid in our, in our muscles, in our cells when we exercise. It's actually lactate. It's kind of close, but there is a difference there. And this form of lactate is L-lactate, which is just a molecule. You don't even need to know exactly what it looks like. But just for this example, just imagine it's a molecule that looks kind of like this. But what, what can happen in D-lactate intolerance is we're intolerant to D-lactate, which is the same molecule, but flipped backwards. And you might think, oh, it's the same molecule, just flipped backwards. It doesn't mean anything. There's, there's, no, there's no problem. The thing is, we have machinery in our body to break this molecule down. We don't have machinery in our body to break this molecule down. And this creates this really nasty cascade, this really nasty process in our body where we basically develop chronic fatigue syndrome. So the way that we, the way that we produce energy, we actually start producing L-lactate or L-lactic acid in our, in our cells, in our muscles. This is no problem though, because it's basically sort of recycled. It's moved out of the, out of the, out of the muscle. It's moved to the liver. The liver starts to process it, breaks it down, basically turns it back into energy again. It can do this no problem. The problem actually comes from when we have D-lactate in our body, which we're not really supposed to, and is actually a product of our metabolism in our gut. So it's kind of like a, it's a substance that's produced by imbalanced gut flora. So what happens is this gut flora produces D-lactate, and it only produces a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. It, compared to the amount of L-lactate in our body, it's like 100 to 1,000 times less. It's tiny. It's absolutely minuscule. The thing is, we cannot break D-lactate down. We have no machinery in our body to be able to break this down in our actual physiology. It's a job that we let the microflora do for us. So normally your gut flora is doing this job for you. So what actually happens is this D-lactate gets produced in your gut, it absorbs into your body, and then it goes into your liver and it plugs up these receptor sites that normally break down and process L-lactate. So then basically what you've got happening is you've got this really small amount of, of D-lactate. And you can imagine this in an analogy. It's kind of like the sink, right? You've, you're doing exercise, you're doing movement, but that's the tap running. You're producing this lactic acid throughout the day. And it's no problem for a healthy person because it drains through the plug. It goes to the liver, gets broken down, turned back into energy. No problem. Muscles recover fine. It's processed. We have energy. There's no issue there. But what D-lactate does is it's kind of like it's a small, small amount, but it plugs up the bottom of the sink. Think about how a plug just plugs into the bottom, the bottom of the sink. So what D-lactate is doing, it's basically plugging up these receptors in your body that break down L-lactate. And then this lactate, this L-lactate that you're producing just from moving and just from thinking begins to build up in your body, builds up in your tissues. Your liver has no space to process it because these receptors are basically plugged up. And then the, lactate, the lactic acid, the L-lactate that you're normally producing from daily activities that's normally not a problem, now builds up in your muscle tissues and basically is destroying your muscles. You've got this lactate that's sitting in your muscles and it shouldn't be, it should be being moved to the liver, but the liver is full, it's plugged up, the D-lactate can't be processed out, and we basically just get, get stuck here. And this is really tricky because the kind of, and this is, this is kind of a bit triggering and it's a bit frustrating, when you're told that if you have CFS, you basically just need to push through it and you need to use a graduated exercise therapy to try and push yourself through it. That doesn't help at all and it doesn't work. And this is why this kind of, this kind of approach really fails because you're not actually understanding intrinsically why you've become exercise intolerant. So if we see that this is actually the problem, this is one of these, so this isn't the whole picture with CFS, but it's a huge part. I'd say this was at least 
40 to 60 percent of me recovering from chronic fatigue syndrome was understanding this principle and then fixing the root cause of this problem which we're going to get to in just a second so there's there's more to this but this is a huge part and you really need to understand this and this is especially true if you get achy muscles or if you have pains and especially if it's like fibromyalgia as well if it's like a cfs and a fibromyalgia kind of onset so you've got muscle pain you're you're, you're hurt to the touch stuff like that it's even more important in that case so how do we fix it hopefully now you understand a little bit about how this problem comes about, we have to try and figure out how we fix it. So as I said, the D-lactate that we're exposed to, that plugs up the sink so we can't process our L-lactate, actually comes from our gut, comes from our gut flora, from a flora imbalance. So we need to correct this gut flora imbalance. Thing is, we have to do this really slowly, we have to do this really gently over time. And I know a lot of people, myself included, you take a probiotic and it actually makes your chronic fatigue syndrome worse. And this is because when the healthy organisms that you're taking in the probiotic fight with the unhealthy organisms in your gut that are producing the delactate, they actually release more of it in this process. They plug up that, that, that sink and they make you feel even worse. You also have to be really careful what type of probiotic you are using because many conventional probiotic powders and even things like fermented foods like sauerkraut and kefir and things like that, they actually have high amounts of delactate in them already just because of the fermentation process. So if you're already delactate intolerant and then you're throwing more delactate into your gut in the supplement that you're actually taking to try and fix the problem, you actually make things way worse. So you have to be really careful that the probiotic that you're buying and that you're using to try and help your body recorre recorrect this imbalance in the gut is actually a delactate free formula and that the, the probiotics that you're taking don't have any delactate in them. I only know of one probiotic and I'm not saying that there aren't more, there probably are, but I only know of one that does this this is the custom probiotics delactate free formula this is the formula that i personally use myself this is the formula that i recommend to most of my clients to get started with it's gentle it's a loose powder so you can start on a really really tiny dose and it's delactate and histamine free so if you have tfs you may have a histamine problem as well it's quite common they go hand in hand so it's safe for both of those but even still you have to start very slowly because it's going to release histamine and delactate in your gut because the gut flora that's present in your gut that's causing the disease that you have is there. And when you take a probiotic, they start to fight. And they're going to release more of these compounds that are the compounds that are making you sick. They trigger your autoimmunity. They trigger your symptoms. They produce delactate and histamine and all of these, these other, other molecules. So you have to be really careful. And you have to start very slowly and build yourself up over time. And when I say start really slowly, I started on the tiniest amount that you could possibly imagine. It was literally like one fleck of a grain of the probiotic powder. And it took me three years to build up to a therapeutic dose for me. So this took me an extended period of time. I don't think it has to take this long for everybody, but my CFS was quite severe. And there were lots of other factors in this equation that I wasn't taking care of. There's that other 40 to 60% of the CFS issues, which really comes down to mitochondrial function. I could do another video about that if you're interested, let me know. And then there's the trauma side of things as well, the emotional root cause, I wasn't doing any work there. And I was still being exposed to toxins as well. So there's several different things that contributed to this situation that could have done to actually make this faster. But I just wanted to give this principle to you today because it's a really important understanding, especially if you do have CFS and poor post-exercise recovery, muscle pains, things like that. Once you understand this, you can really start to work on fixing the root cause of this problem, which is the gut flora imbalance. And you want to do that by using a good therapeutic strength probiotic that has D-lactate and histamine free and start on a really, 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 really tiny, tiny dose. And this, you can even take that tiny, tiny, tiny dose. And if it's too much, put it in a glass of water, mix it well, take one sip. You know, you have to start really, really small. This is just the reality of the situation you're in. You don't get to choose how fast you heal. You just get to choose the direction that you're going in. So I know that's kind of annoying. I know that's kind of frustrating. I've been there myself. But you get, the cho you get to choose today. Your power is today. Are you going to move towards sickness or are you going to move towards health? And moving towards health actually looks like that tiny, tiny dose. If you take a bigger dose, it's not actually moving you towards health. It's putting you towards sickness because you, you, you jam up your whole body. You stop it functioning the way that it's supposed to. You go against that natural innate intelligence that your body has because you're not trying to work with it. You're trying to force it. So we need to work really, really tiny, at just the right dose. Gradually over time, weed out these organisms in the gut that are producing the D-lactate put in more organisms that break delactate down for you, which these organisms in this probiotic do. And eventually you'll be able to exercise again, have a normal uh, lactic acid and, and L-lactate function inside your body. It can go to your liver, get broken down, be used as energy again. And you go through this cycle without basically destroying all of your muscles in the process. 
So if you have any questions about this, please do leave me a, a comment below in the, in, the, in the chat box below. I know it's a, maybe a bit much because there's a lot to unpack here, but this is a really important principle. I've tried to simplify it as much as possible. My suggestion would be the delactate free probiotics by custom probiotics. There are other options, but I don't know what they are. And if you ask me, I probably don't have experience with them. I know these ones are safe. I know these ones are good. I use them myself. I use them with my clients. This is why I recommend them. I am not affiliated. If I could be, you damn sure I would be. You know, I'd love to make a little bit of money while you get some really awesome healing results. But they don't have an affiliate program, unfortunately. So I'm not affiliated. Not because I can't, not because I, I don't want to be, but because I can't, because they don't do it. So they're, the, they're my favorite probiotics, basically kind of across the board. I hope this has been really helpful for you. And as I said, if you have any questions, please do let me know. I'll see you soon. Bye.